Welcome to the Equine Reproduction Laboratory at Colorado State University, where the Wild West meets cutting-edge technology. Our facility goals, uh, the Equine Reproduction Lab in general, we, we really have three missions. We run a clinical service. We teach to, uh, to undergraduate students, veterinary students, graduate students, and then we also do research. And that research is, is usually applied research to benefit the horse industry and, and advance the science of equine reproduction. Faculty and students are hard at work day and night. Semen from valuable stallions is collected and shipped around the world. Competing mares have multiple foals through surrogate mothers without missing a step. And every once in a while, the Equine Reproduction Lab gets to make miracles happen. The Mears sisters grew up on a peaceful ranch outside of Windsor, Colorado, where horses are just part of the family. My mom was riding horses when she was pregnant with me until she couldn't fit in the saddle anymore. So, my entire life, I'm very blessed. On May 22nd, the serenity of the farm was shattered when a mile-wide tornado tore through the area. I looked at my mom and I said, you know, it's like, today just doesn't look like a good day for weather. It's like, I bet we're going to have some really severe weather. About then, we started to notice that our loafing sheds were starting to rock a little bit from the wind. Tragically, the tornado not only destroyed property, but it claimed the life of Tuesday, a beautiful buck-skinned mare. I'm Tuesday's, well, I was Tuesday's owner, well, best friend. We were more friends than anything. Tuesday was critically wounded when a loafing shed collapsed on her. She was rushed to Colorado State's Equine Hospital for x-rays. So in the course of taking those x-rays, we found that she had a, a really severe fracture of one of the bones in her lower leg. And as a result of that, we told them that we really couldn't do very much for her. It was the type of injury that was not really amenable to repair. And so we recommended euthanasia, which of course was the disaster to end the day. But disaster turned into dreams thanks to the quick thinking and cooperation between CSU's equine hospital and the reproduction lab. Before putting Tuesday down, her ovaries were harvested in the hopes of getting a foal. Eggs from the ovaries were injected with sperm. Four embryos developed and were placed in surrogate mares, but the chances of a pregnancy taking were slim. You were going into it that it was kind of a long shot, but it was something that was worth trying to try and get something good and beautiful out of something that was horrible and tragic. Katie, another of the Mears family horses, was inseminated with Tuesday's embryos. But other mares were needed. The ERL lab offered up one of their own horses, even going so far as naming her Friday. A lot of devastation happened over in Windsor in that general area, and I think it was really our, our opportunity to help out. And this is something that we knew we could do, we thought in our heart that we could do, and I think a lot of people worked really hard to try to make this happen. After weeks of anticipation, the Mears family brought in Katie to see if there might be a foal on the way. We're gonna follow that down. We're looking for a black circle the size of a silver dollar. It'd be looking a lot like that. She's pregnant and there's a, a heartbeat right above the tip of my finger. But the good news didn't stop there. From Tuesday to Friday. And then we have, uh, we have another pregnancy. For us to hear that there were two heartbeats and, and two live holes in pregnant mares was just fantastic. CSU faculty and staff act as grief counselors and friends. Before they put Tuesday down, they took a hoof print in some putty and put little jewels on it and spelled her name out at the bottom and cut off a piece of her tail and braided it and put some burgundy and yellow ribbon in it. CSU puts a really big emphasis on, on the recognition and the um, assistance of the human-animal bond and, and really, you know, as much as we like to think that we're veterinary surgeons and that we work with animals, every animal comes with a person attached and so we have to have as many people skills as, as medical skills. They care. They're, CSU is, they're amazing. It's a blessing in disguise. Providing expertise with sensitivity, Colorado State University makes miracles happen. Tuesday.